Oasis TV, bringing worlds together. What I thought was unreal now for me seems in some ways to be more real than what I think to be real, which seems now more to be unreal. You can't explain it. Uh, and anybody who gets too lost and try, anybody who try, spends too much time trying to explain it is likely to get lost forever down the rabbit hole of. reality or reality producing machines we create the effects of reality all the time as far as whether or not we're just living in a big holodeck or not it's a question that we don't necessarily have a good answer to there is no out there out there independent of what's going on in here i guess it just depends on what you think is real there actually are choices in the direction of how a life can go that are contingent upon small level quantum effects not being washed out. First of all, let's talk about the subatomic world. And then we'll talk about what it's telling us about reality. The first thing I want to tell you about the subatomic world is it's totally a fantasy created by mad physicists trying to figure out what the heck is going on when they do these little experiments. By little experiments, I mean big energy in little spaces and little pieces of time. It gets pretty nutty at that realm of things. And so subatomic physics was invented to try to figure that all out. We need a new science down there. It's called quantum physics, and it is subject to a whole range of debatable hypotheses, thoughts, feelings, intuitions as to what the heck is really going on. Most people don't affect reality in a consistent substantial way because they don't believe they can. They write an intention and then they erase it because they think that's silly. I, I mean, I can't do that. And then they write it again and then they erase it. So time average, it's a very small effect. And it really comes down to the fact that they believe they can't do it.